good morning and welcome to the 29th annual exhibit of hydrogen and fuel cell technology at the Hanover Fair. Um, we've been discussing tech all this morning. That's what we do at the Tech Forum. Uh, we invite you to sit down and have a drink there on the house. The hostesses will service you. Uh, up next on stage, we'll be talking about a year-round electricity storage system for buildings. Zayed Abul Ella, who's CEO of HPS Home Power Solutions, will be telling us the story. Thank you. Welcome, Zayed. Thank you very much for the introduction. A very warm welcome also from my side. As said, I'm, my name is Ziad Abul Ella, and I'm founder and CEO of HPS Home Power Solutions. And I'm um, very happy to have the opportunity to introduce HPS to you and, in our understanding, the best energy storage for private homes existing in the world today. Just some very quick information about our company. The company was founded by Henrik and me in 2014. We have now already over 200 employees, which we are very proud of because they go to work every day to end the use of fossil fuels in home power supply. And um, we are active in the market. Actually, we have sold now already over 500 systems um, all over Germany, and we're looking to expand into other countries coming soon. Our so solution is worldwide unique. That's why ha we have patented um, also all over the world, and we will take a look at the technology in a few minutes. Before going into the technology, I would like um, to take a look ab about onto the surrounding that we see every day in our life, because we are witnessing a mega trend, and this is the electrification of our lives, and this can be verified by two aspects. First, the rollout of heat pumps, which is nothing else than electrifying the heat supply of our houses. And the numbers you see on the screen behind me are the goals for Germany until 2030. So Germany wants to have 6 million heat pumps installed uh, in Germany. The other aspect is electrical cars. So that's nothing else than electrification of our mobility. And we want to have 15 million cars on the street until 2030. Now, these two aspects change a lot in the energy supply. They have two effects. The first one is, I need much more electricity than ever before. And let's take it to the scale of a house and try to understand what are we talking about? Is it 10% more, 20% more energy? And behind me on the screen, you see a very conservative approach. We took a house with four persons and has a household electricity of 4,000 kilowatt hours. And in the past, this was the amount of energy that needed to be transferred via the electrical grid. And the car and the heating were on a combustion technology. So if we look at a house coming now on, you have the 4,000 kilowatt hours of household electricity and additionally in an electrical car. And we took in our example a very small one with just 10,000 kilometers of, of uh, running uh, um, distance per year. And you have a heat pump as the heat source. And again, we took a quite well-isolated house to not exaggerate the amount of energy that is needed. And even we took a conservative approach. What happens is we need about three times the energy we needed in the past as electricity being delivered through a grid which is already aged a little bit and not prepared for these amounts of energy. So there's a topic ahead of us. Next to the challenge that we need much more energy, there's another effect of the two drivers, which is when do we need this energy? With a heat pump, it's very clear it's a heating system. So I need the heating system in the winter when it's dark and cold. And when it's dark and cold, renewable energies are not available. So the carbon footprint of the kilowatt hour electricity from the grid is the highest. And also electrical cars need much more energy in the wintertime and compared to the summertime. It's a shift about 20 to 30 percent. So both technologies, on the one hand, increase the amount of energy that we need, and on the other hand, especially increase the amount of energy in winter. Again, there where the renewable energy is not available. So in other words, the fight against the CO2 and, and for our climate change is decided in winter, not in summer. Now, here we desperately need an answer which is not existing today. And we have an approach with our product, Pikea, 
to achieve a shift and deliver renewable energies from the summertime into the wintertime where it's desperately needed. What is PIKEA? PIKEA is the world's first market-ready available product which enables one and two family houses to lose their solar energy from their own roof over the whole year, also in winter, 365 days a year. And we achieve this um, with a combination of a short-term energy storage and a seasonal energy storage via the green hydrogen which we produce. And to achieve this goal, to have 365 days of the year clean energy, you need a lot of technology. What we witnessed in the market is that customers are often overwhelmed by the complexity of technical solutions if they try to put something together to achieve an independency. So with a team of experts, we put all the technology components, develop them from the ground on, and put them in a one-stop solution with clear interfaces from one supplier with one warranty um, to make the decision very easy for the end customer or our partners for a carbon-free independent energy supply. Our system comes with a 10-year full guarantee into the market. Now a very brief description of how does it work. We, as the source, we have a photovoltaic system, which is on the roof of the house. This is a symbolic um, um, picture here behind me. And we are on a summer day, so we have a lot of excess energy from the sun. We use this energy to supply the house and to fill batteries. Up to here, there are many companies who do this. If we look into a summer night, we can very well already supply the house out of the battery. And um, I would say this is already a commodity technology. But actually, when you look at the house in the summertime, you realize that the battery is always full. And above of that, you have a lot of excess energy. And we use this energy within our system with a self-developed integrated electrolyzer to produce green hydrogen and store it. And while doing so, we use the process heat to supply the house also with heat. And now we make a shift in time into the winter. And now the, the days are dark and shorter, or even snow is on the photovoltaic system, and there's not enough solar energy to supply the house. Now we use the self-produced green hydrogen, which is stored at site. In other words, the summer sun that we collected, to supply the house via the fuel cell, which is also integrated in our product, with electricity and heat. And with the hydrogen, we do a seasonal energy shift of the excess energy from the summer into the winter to, in the end, be able to achieve the dream of a complete carbon-free energy supply 365 days a year and make a breakthrough for the desperately needed energy shift with the solution. What does the solution consist of? Actually, three components. The one is the source, which is commodity, which are the PV um, modules on the roof of the house. And then we have two components which are part of our system PIKEA. One is the energy center, which is inside the house and has all the components that transform and store energy. And it only needs about 1.5 square meters of area. You can imagine it like a big American refrigerator, for example. That's all it takes inside the house. Outside the house, we can store the, uh, place the seasonal energy storage, and here we need about three square meters. Three square meters outside, 1.5 inside, it's all it takes to personally do the energy shift to 100% immediately in the moment where we activate the system in your house. Our goal in the end is in the future to deliver all forms of energy of that we need for our everyday life, which is electricity, mobility, and heat, carbon-free out of one hand. A step towards the supply of also the heat is the combination with the heat pump. In the beginning, I explained that the heat pumps are creating a very large energy demand, especially in winter. So how can we find a solution for that? We have the PIKEA, which uses only solar energy, completely carbon-free from the own roof and delivers the electricity to the house and delivers the process heat that is created during delivering the electricity to the house and already in the first step reduces the heat demand. But it's not enough to completely supply the house. So we have a heat pump. The heat pump is heat driven 
is the heating system and delivers all the heat that is needed for the house. Now the heat pump to do this needs electricity. And that's what Pikea can deliver. So Pikea takes the electricity, supplies the heat pump so that the heat pump can, in the winter time, use as much as possible carbon-free solar energy. Additionally, we also manage the runtime of the heat pump to get a very high efficiency and a maximum output out of the complete system. Now, one information, if this system is used in a modern house, a new built house, which is well isolated, we can already achieve the dream of a carbon-free energy supply. If the system is an existing house, then we can achieve the dream of a carbon-free household electricity, and additionally, we can, we can support the heating of the house. But in an existing home, you will need an additional um, energy source to completely fill the house with the needed heat. If we install one Pikea in one single house in Germany, it saves about three tons of carbon per year per house, which is the amount of carbon that about 130 grown-up trees bind in one year. 130 trees per Pikea per year. Now, one Pikea is not the goal anymore. We want to roll out millions. And we're looking also for partnerships to do so. So um, if you get interested, I would be very happy if you meet us at our booth. Before ending the presentation, I would like to show you just very quickly some pictures out of the field so you get an impression how Pikea looks when it's installed. In this case, it's a one-family um, house, a private home, and these are the 1.5 square meters that you need inside the house. And here is a picture of the seasonal energy storage. These are about three square meters where we store 1,350 kilowatt hours of energy in the hydrogen. Just for comparison, a home battery that is used today is roughly about 10 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. So it's a completely different dimension um, to achieve the seasonal energy shift. The system is afterwards cladded and completely integrated in the design of the house on the ar architectural basis, so it really looks good and you um, can choose the colors and the forms and the material so that the system is really nice integrated into the house. We started also to look for larger applications, not only one and two family homes. And therefore, we created a solution which we call multi care and where we place in parallel more than one system to add up the power output of the single system. As you can see, this building behind me is a commercial building, not a one and two family home. It has 5,000 square meters, um, two floors. The photovoltaic is placed on the roof and on the facade. And if we look into the technical area of the building, you see a so-called multi -picare. In this case, these are five systems connected to each other to supply a larger energy demand also in larger buildings. I want to thank you for your attention. And um, again, our stand is, I think, D43. So if you're interested, um, you can place questions now or meet us at our booth. Thanks for your attention. So I wish, really wish we didn't have such a tight schedule because there are so many questions to ask. One thing that I would uh, not hesitate to mention, of course, is uh, uh, energy uh, uh, security. Uh, remember at the beginning of the crisis, at the start of the war, we knew that one third of homes in Germany were heated with natural gas. They had embedded in their homes these natural gas units. And uh, you can't just retool <laughs> when you rebuild. I recommend your product because <laughs> new homes and new ideas about how we live, they're absolutely necessary. So let's hope in future all new homes are built with your technology. Yeah. It's been a fascinating talk. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thank Bye. you.